A few months ago, I turned 25 years old, and fast forward to the present moment, I believe I'm going through what one might call a quarter-life crisis. Recently, a series of personal events have made me realize that I've been living life quite unconsciously. And what I mean by that is, I don't think I've been asking myself the right questions. I don't think I've taken enough time for self-reflection. And I just feel like I need to really think about where I want my life to go. Because I'm coming to a point now where I'm in the last month or so of my time here in Taiwan. And after that, I'm going to be going back to Canada for a few months to see my family. But after that, I really don't know. I don't know if I'll come back to Taiwan. I don't know if I'll go to a new city. I don't know if I'll stay in Canada. I don't know if I'll get a different job. I feel like there's just so many questions in the air that thinking about it gives me a little bit of a headache. But I know that I have to think consciously about it and just really ask myself, what is it that I want to do and what is something that I want to pursue? It's actually always been quite difficult for me to pinpoint what I want to do because I generally find a lot of joy in everything that I do. I remember growing up and doing a ton of part-time jobs that I didn't enjoy at the beginning, but then in the end, I would always find something that I liked about it. Even coming to Taiwan, I was pretty hesitant to come to Taiwan, but at that time it was the only option for me, and I decided to come. I was super scared, but in the end, it has been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. If you're having a quarter life crisis like myself, I try to remind myself that, you know, it's okay to not know what the best next move is. You know, it's okay to not know things. I feel like we're just walking and shifting sands and everything is always changing. And I think the most important thing is to just do something. Figure out one thing that you like. Not every piece has to fit just yet. And you never know, maybe the puzzle pieces do fit and you just need some time to see the whole picture. There was a couple of things that started making me really think about my life lately. And yeah, some stuff, you know, just the personal stuff that I probably won't mention. But also too, I was reading this book and it's called The Defining Decade. And I'm not gonna lie, it definitely gave me some anxiety because basically this psychologist, she talks about a lot of her experiences with 20-something year olds or anyone between the ages of 20 to 30 or 25 to 35. Basically, it says that a lot of your defining moments about, you know, who you are and who you become happen before you're 35 years old. And there's three main sections to the book. There is work, relationships, and your mind and body. Basically for work, she talks about the importance of building identity capital. So these are things that you can put on your resume, things that make you unique compared to other people in the working field, and just like being able to stand out and say that, yeah, I did this, I worked here, I can speak this many languages, or maybe there's certain qualities about you. Maybe you're really good at teamwork or leadership. And just the importance of building up this capital and doing jobs that actually benefit you in your defining decade. And I don't know if this is something that you guys have struggled with, but for myself, I've always been a bit hesitant to, I don't know, like commit to work. And I remember before coming to Taiwan, I had to sign this one year contract to teach English. And it was probably one of the scariest things that I've ever done before because 
I just thought, you know, what? you never know what could happen. Like, what if I don't like this job and I'm stuck working here for a whole year? So yeah, I get it. If you have a fear of commitment to work, I know that it's something that I still kind of struggle with. But I know that after the year of working here in Taiwan, like it was amazing. I really got into the flow of routine. I realized that I actually do like routine a lot. When you try something new, like a job or you go to a new place, you're always going to learn new stuff about yourself. You're going to learn about what you like and what you don't like. So it's always beneficial to just do something and just to try new things. And if I hadn't come to Taiwan, I ha wouldn't have learned so much about myself. So I feel like now I'm becoming more adventurous and I'm more comfortable stepping outside of my comfort zone. And now Taiwan, I would say, is definitely a comfort zone for myself after, I don't know, a year and a half. So even if it's not the job that you want or you're not getting the interviews that you want, take what you can get and go from there and keep on looking for the things that you do want. And I'm sure the opportunities will pop up, but you have to knock on the door first and keep your options open. But when you do feel yourself settling into this comfort, especially when you're in your defining decade, it should be a bit of a wake up call. Like this is your defining decade. Like this is the time for you to step out of your comfort zone, try something new, go to new places, learn more about yourself, commit to things for a year and see what happens. There's nothing wrong with going into a job and discovering that you don't like it. That's honestly a success to me because now you know you don't want to apply for a job like that. And maybe that was a job you once dreamed to have. And now you realize that it just wasn't actually your dream. When I was a kid, my favorite thing was to pretend being a teacher and coming to Taiwan allowed me to fulfill that dream. And now that I have had the experience of what it's like to be a teacher, there's lots of things that I love about it and lots of things that I learned, but I also feel like there's more for me and more that I want to do. So now I'm just in the stage of reevaluating what it is that I want to pursue. And it truly is such a tricky phase to be in. So I totally empathize with you if you are also going through a bit of a quarter life crisis. I know how difficult it is and I just try to take it one step at a time. One thing that I have picked up recently is I started meditating again. I used to when I was younger and then I stopped for a really long time. But right now I feel like it's so necessary because there is so much noise. There's so much clutter in my head sometimes. I have all of these random thoughts coming in and sometimes I can't tell what are my thoughts and what are not my thoughts and so I think meditation has been extremely useful for me in this period to really help me clear my mind, clear my thoughts and help me to listen to that inner voice to really figure out what is it that I should pursue and what is it that I should do next or what is the decision that I should make that is best for me. The book, The Defining Decade, also had another major section which was about relationships and it was all about just being more mindful about the relationships that you're in and being more conscious when you're in them. Like, why are you with the person that you are with? And is it just because it's comfortable or is it actually helping you grow and becoming the best version of yourself? And I think it's really important to be checking in on your relationship and seeing, is this where you want the relationship to be? Is it headed in the right direction? I know sometimes it's really scary to ask these kinds of questions, but I think it's more important to face the truth opposed to just kind of going with the flow. I think you know when it comes to relationships you know you're either I don't know you can be dating casually but also at the same time there's a lot of people that want to date seriously and at the end of the day you're dating to one day choose the family that you want to have so especially in your 20s like you know the psychologist Meg that's her name I believe the author she says that you have to be very conscious and you have to be very careful about who you date in your defining decade because at the end of the day you are choosing your family based off of the partner that you're choosing. 
Now you can probably understand why I'm going through a bit of a you know quarter life crisis because I'm starting to ask myself some of these really big questions that I just didn't really want to face I suppose. I don't know but now I feel like I have to face them because I want to take charge of my 20s. I want to do the things that I know that are best for me and in order to do that I need to know myself really well and in order to know myself really well I need to quiet my mind and so that's why I was also reading another book by Jay Shetty which was Think Like a Monk. I think you saw it earlier in this vlog but that book has also been really helpful because in that sense it's just talking about you know a lot of the buddhist practices that he learned while he was a monk in india and just bringing them into you know everyday life like work and relationships and just how he did it and he shows how you can do it and i feel like that's just been really helpful because i feel like when you are facing these big defining questions in life that you just don't have the answer to, it can be a lot of pressure and it can be really anxiety inducing. Even for myself, like I feel the pressure and that's why I feel like I'm in this quarter life crisis. And in order to handle it and to deal with it with poise and to still be calm, I know that I need to build and develop other skills. I need to have tools. And those tools that I've decided that I'm going to use is things like meditation and consuming the right kinds of content and surrounding myself with the right kinds of people and just checking in with myself and making sure that I am where I feel like I should be. If you are someone that is also going through a quarter life crisis or any kind of crisis in your 20s, I highly recommend that you read the book The Defining Decade and also Think Like a Monk. These two books have really been helping me through this and just processing things and they have so many good prompts and questions that you can ask yourself in order to figure out what are the next steps for you. Bye vlog. Bye vlog. <laughs>